Hello everyone, welcome back to some more Let's Play the Guy 2 Duel Saga. In the last episode, we were in Fortune. And we defeated Fortune, we had a dragon. And in today's episode, we are going to be showing you the infinite money glitch. So, the way this starts, well it's not even a glitch, it's just an exploit. The way you want to start is going to Jenga. And you want to make sure you have... Let me make sure I even have some. Where is it? Actually, it would be here. Ooh, no. There. Um, you want Earth Dragon Wings. And you want to use all of them. Now, don't worry. We're at the point in the game where the Secret Market is very good. Because the Secret Market is going to give us so many materials and so many items, so many weapons, so many whatever. <clears throat> but let me show you... Oh, let's talk to Aiden real quick. I feel quite at ease here. Yeah, man, it's because that's like a backyard for you. I believe it's up here that we're wanting to go. I believe this is the armory. Yes, perfect. All right. Uh, oh, we don't want weapons. We want the, the green guy. So, come down here, or maybe we do want weapons? Am I dumb? Yes, we do. Get as many of these as possible. We'll get 11. And now I'll see you over the secret market. Now, this is my first time entering the secret market. And... As you can see, there are a bunch of Kindro Mondro types here, but we don't really care about anyone else but this guy. I need expensive materials. We're gonna sell the Sunfalls. We're gonna sell all of them. As you can see, we're getting $357,000 off of this. Now you come to buy and come down where is it? There it is. So, now the idea is you buy as many Earth Dragon Wings as possible. And we'll do this one more time. We'll go go back to Jenga, get the item, and then come back here. Now we're back. Let's sell the 33 Sunfalls we were able to get. And we'll do expensive, come to sell. Oh man, look at our money just skyrocket. Look at that. Perfect. So I, as you can see though, we have a million dollars and I did it twice. So, <laughs> again, you can just buy as many as you want. I'm probably just going to buy uh, another 30. Because I do want to buy some actual regular, uh, regular things. We'll find five of these, five of these, five of these, five of everything. And if we have enough money left over, I'm going to try and, uh, oops. I'll try and buy some weapons and or other gear. Nope, don't need that. Oh, definitely need that. And we'll buy five more, just because... Now, you can earn all of these things. Okay, maybe we won't buy five more of these. You can earn all of these things. There we go. Oh, actually, I do want to... Well, let's see what he has in terms of cheap materials. So, he also sells pre... Uh, Pre-solar eclipse uh, items. So, if you wanted to check that out. Let's see if we can combine any tools, though. I don't think we can. We can make a merchant soul, which is double in gold, which is kind of pointless at this point. <laughs> and I think if we come down here. We can make. Uh, well, we can make golden barons, which are good. And then. Damn, we can't make a. Angel's Miracle, or a Goddess's Miracle, because we're missing 
life water, which is in the in-game stuff, and also in-game stuff, so. I'll show you what the others are selling. And today's episode is not actually going to have us going to uh, the floating island. I've already forgotten the name of it. It's not going to have us going there. Eventually we'll, we'll go there, but not in today's episode. Today's episode is going to be backtracking and showing you all the stuff that I missed. Uh, but yeah, so there's quite a few things here that are good. Like Silver Fall would be really good. Uh, Guardian Armbands would be pretty alright too on Ain. I mean that 30 increase is pretty significant. You can't deny it. The Silver Bikini would be good. Steel Shoes. Honestly, probably... Yeah, Steel Shoes plus the Lightning Outfit would be good. Now, you are the Weapons Guy. So this is the part where you can just start kind of buying random weapons and building them up into the final uh, weapon. Into the ultimate weapons, rather. Endgame Kukana is really funny when it's not even that good. And you can get something a little bit better. But yeah. Let's talk to you. Alright, so this guy sells all of the jewels and all who's its what's its that you could ever want. Like, this is funny. HP boost 3, encounter down, MP bonus. That's pretty good. Yeah, again, these are the guys you're going to be talking to to get, like, the ultimate gear. But now we're going to head back over to Kravia. Or Kravia. Alright, now that we're here, there is something we forgot. I believe it is this door? No, but we did forget this. Got a camping kit. Uh, you can also buy some healing items here, some medicine. Not really my cup of tea. Eventually, oh right, whenever you do that uh, money exploit, eventually you'll get 9,999,999 gold. And at that point, you can probably stop doing it, but might as well buy max of the material you want. No, we forgot to go in here. We're, oh, we don't want to dream. Sorry. We want to talk to this receptionist. Welcome to the Hunter's Guild. We provide quest referrals here. That's about the available quests. So this is where you can go and fight monsters and do some random side quests. Deliver. Just buy six of the tons of tea cakes and deliver it to them. Oh, I want to accept. I didn't realize don't accept was the main option. So, how many uh, cakes did he need? I actually don't remember. Five, buy six tons of tea cakes. We might be a little too poor for that. Might have to sell, uh, sell a thing, so let's do that. Let's sell... How have I not equipped that yet? Hello? Why haven't I equipped it yet? The hell? Alright, we'll sell the Titan Armor because we're not going to use that. Oh, we got a Heal Leaf. Cool. Alright, so let's head back on over to Tanza. Buy the Tea Cakes. Uh, actually, is Oh, he's not over here. Okay. Sometimes your your characters will be walking around and it's very helpful. We actually need to go to Tanza anyway because we forgot to grab something for Kazan. Which is actually the exact location we're going to. Uh, give me six cakes. Also forgot to check this guy out. Uh, let's do it at a thousand G. None. None. Thank you. Okay, my bad. Uh, let's go upstairs. And, okay. Maybe not. Am I dumb? Did I forget to do something? 
Because Kazan should be talking to his friend in there. Alright, my bad. Alright, we still can't do anything here, which is insane. Is he up here yet? Okay, well, anyway, there is a interaction that Kazan has with uh, Jine or Jean. It's probably Jean. I don't know why I said Jine. Uh, where you get to unlock Kazan's, uh, I think, final hyper art. But I don't see Kazan or any of my team anywhere, so we'll just leave for now. And no, you don't lose that hyper art forever, but... You don't lose the hyper art forever. You just kind of get owned. Who am I taking them to? Oh my god, I have forgotten. Is it this guy? No, your name's Scandal, which is funny. Uh... Is Jan. What about you? Is it you? Okay. Ah, oh, it is Yaksha. Cool. So once you've done that quest, you can just go back to the guild. Once you've completed it, just go. Now, just talk to the receptionist lady, talk to Sonnet, and you get your money. Now, I recommend doing quests because you can actually get some pretty good rewards here. It's out there somewhere in the world. I want you to capture a creature called a Lipster for me. This is a quest from Fujima. He's staying at the inn in Kravia. I don't know if it's true, but he says there's a rare creature called a Lipster. You have to find one and bring it to him. The reward money is 60 grand. Also, if you're ever curious about these uh, Hunter's Guild quests, if you go to like legendofthegaia.net, uh, they actually have a pretty concert, comprehensive uh, list of things you can do. Alright, let's accept the quest. Sorry, I kind of got lost there as I was talking about Legaia.net. So if you talk... <clears throat> so LegendLegaia.net is what I've been using for a lot of my information. And Alright, let's go over here and talk to this guy. You from the guild? I'm Fujima, the one that sent out the quest in the guild. Glad to meet you. What I want is a lipster. It's not a living creature, it's an item. In this business, you need someone to soothe your spirit and make you calm. I hear all the lips get together and have a party. Oh yeah, I just remember, my peddler brother gave me a good piece of information. He said that lips gather in the forest just beyond Gale Canyon. You might find one there. And we know exactly where that is. We know exactly where that is. We're, whole, we're going all the way back to the Hunter's Wood. And yeah... You may notice there's a bunch of lips everywhere. And they got a fun little tune. So, you're just gonna battle them. Alright, let's uh, open with Bow Flash, into Windblade, into Hawkstroke. And then you just do your normal thing, you just do your normal thing. Now, lips are very weak. And you will outspeed them at this point in the game. Just keep fighting all the lips that are in the area until you find one that looks different. One that's not green, one that's not purple like a lips king. And yeah. We're just gonna finish this battle up because, well, might as well. And uh... <laughs> mostly because... Wait, we're already done. <laughs> so we'll finish this battle up, and I'll see you when we find the Lipster. Okay. We have finally found the damn thing. Uh, I'm gonna hit it with... One, two, three, four, five. We're gonna hit it with that, just see what happens. I'm gonna do Blind Fury. Let's begin. So Lane's gonna get rid of this guy. I love that it's literally just a lips, but they like tinted it with like the berserk gene, so, like from Chrono Trigger, so he's just red. 
<laughs> it's just really funny. Or the Berserker, I think is what it's called in Chrono Trigger. A baptism of fire? Oh, mama! Okay, so this thing does have a lot more HP than a traditional Lips. So keep that in mind while you're fighting it. Like, I'm pretty sure Ain is not even going to get kill this guy. Although it'd be hype. Actually, he might. Never mind. Forgot how powerful he is. Literally to a 2k with his arts. It's crazy. There we go. Let's move on. So true, Lang. Or Ain. Sorry. Alright, we got the Lipster. Let's get back to the Hunter's Guild. So I'll be back in a minute. Alright, back in Kravia, let's go talk to... I've already forgotten the guy's name, like Yanjiro or something? Not Yajirobe. Not, not, ya, not Yajirobe. Let's go talk to him. Oh, so this is a Lipster, huh? I'm a lucky man. I'm so happy I'll keep it forever. Thank you for everything. Please take this as a small token of my appreciation. But you get your real reward money at the guild. Acquired the backseat syringe. What a great thing the guild is. I'm happy, you're happy, what could be better? Now I think we've already seen a vaccine syringe before. Oh we haven't. Prevents abnormal effect stats or status effects during battle. Quick acting, it inoculates against all afflictions. So you can use that at the beginning of a battle, and I'm pretty sure it makes you immune for the whole battle. Which is pretty cool. Anyway, let's go back to the guild. Now, I'm going to be doing the rest of these probably off-screen, because, to be honest... Uh, well, I don't know. Let's look at the next quest. So we got Mysterious Potion. Order a potion for the black market shop in Tanza. Go get it for me. My daughter is lost. Can you find her? Golden Giant, go to Gale Canyon. Investigate the Golden Giant you'll find there. Mysterious cont Contagion. There's an herbal flower that cures the strange disease. I want you to find it. The, the Central Continental Union is, are the poster for this one. They've escaped to Mount Gable. Get rid of the two wanted monsters. So anytime you have to fight a monster... Wait, 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 wait. What did you say? This is a quest from Joe and information source from Derekin. The golden grone he ordered from Rindo and Taza hasn't arrived yet, so he wants you to go investigate. Reward money is 30 grand. All right. Just warn you, I hear this Rindo is involved in some kind of shady business. Watch out. Alright. Well, let's go check it out. Let's go check out and see what Rindo's selling. And there's no point in me, like, cutting this out, so I'm just going to keep chatting. Because it's literally just a hop, skip, and a jumping away. Alright, let's go find Rindo. <sighs> I don't think it's this guy, right? No, this is Jake. Your box. I don't want you. Rindo's gotta be like over here or something, right? It's gotta be this guy. Yeah. He came here on behalf of Joe. We made the Golden Grone yet. Short of, sort of some ingredients for it. Some up quickly. When will it be done? It ain't easy to make. Wait, anyway, what? Do you wanna buy something? Uh, I mean, short. Golden Apple, Magic Potion. Golden apples grow on a tree in the forest maze, but they're not in season. Magic potion is illegal, so nobody else will make it for you. It can also be made from magic powder. Boy, maybe you can find these for me. I'll pay you. Alright, then I'll find them. A golden apple and magic potion, right? Really? That's great. I'm counting on you. And hurry if you can. Golden apples grow in the forest maze, and magic powder can be made from magic potion. I think they meant to do that in reverse. Looks like you got magic potion. All right, so now we gotta go with Ain and the gang and go check out Forest Maze. But I'm gonna double check in here real quick that uh, Kazan's not up here. Okay, I just figured I'd check while I'm up here. Let's get out of here. Okay, so I'm in the Forest Maze north entrance and now we're just gonna walk around because if we go down this way, 
go to the left. This this place is actually pretty hard to find if you're if you don't know what you're doing slash looking for. So be very weary of that. But yeah, let's come over here. As I was saying, uh, this place can be hard to navigate if you're not careful or don't know what you're doing. Also, I need to heal a little bit for Lang. I need to use a, a little bit of a magic bottle. Because honestly, those are way better than anything else we'll use. Uh, we'll use a heal potion for you. There we go. Yeah, this place can be kind of tough to navigate. Also, if you're trying to just blitz through all the guild missions, I recommend you wait. I recommend you beat the game first and then go through all the guild missions because guild missions are very, get very, very, very difficult. And there are some enemies, like the, the winged beasts, that... Uh, I don't remember what I was talking about already. I, I kind of got distracted. I was looking at some stuff. Just confirming I knew where I was going. Oh, I remember. Yeah, be very careful because some of the enemies get to like high levels whenever you are doing guild missions. Alright, I don't think I need to heal. Yeah, we're good. Uh, but speaking of guild missions, there's actually two in this area, but you can only do one at a time because whatever reason. Uh, you can't just blitz through. Alright, but down here, I believe if we go all the way down. We will find a little item. Oh, there's also this, which doesn't really do anything for us. I think there's something all the way down here. Oh, I've already grabbed it, so never mind. And then up here is an item we already grabbed. Okay. Well, let's go back over here then. Because this is actually the way we want to go. All the way up here. So, there's a golden apple up there. If you... Uh, do this. It'll turn the apple red, which is not what you want, but is also what you want. Because that makes it a golden apple. Uh, you can also do this. And a client will appear. You have to be basically right underneath it. Or not? What? Hello? Bruh. Why can't I get this thing to activate? Okay, so I've learned that apparently this is random. And you can see it moving on the right hand side of the tree at some point. So, there is a gold beetle enemy that will spawn, and it gives you uh, 30,000 gold and 2,000 experience. So, it's not a lot of experience, but it does give you a good amount of money. This is something that, you know, if it spawns, awesome. If not, then whatever. Uh, it's not a big deal, so let's just get out of here, and I'll see you at the guild. Or I, I'll see you at, uh, I'll see you at the dude. <laughs> Now that we're back over here, let's talk to Rindo. Put his powder into this, makes it up really good. Done. It's Golden Grone. Say hi to Joe for me. How much do you want? And none. I'm paying you. Acquired 3,000 gold. You saved me. Uh, let's buy... I don't actually know if there's any... Thing worth buying. Oh, we can get a maiden's heart, which is pretty all right. Huh? Cool. Yeah, we'll buy a couple of these, and then we'll buy a couple of these. Yeah, I probably won't use this one too much, but uh, yeah, that's uh, that's all I'm gonna do. A wind handle staff. All right, what is that? 
Tool for controlling the wind can only be used by magic user called wind handlers. Alright. Okay. Well, I don't know what that is, but we're gonna go talk to Joe, and you already know where Joe is. He's over in Derrickin, so... Uh, and you already know... Gotta make my little checkpoint, gotta check in, gotta make sure everything's okay. I'm really not sure why Kazan's not talking to this guy. But we'll, uh, we'll figure it out. Honestly, I've probably already posted on screen the reason why he's not in there. Because, like, I don't know. Sometimes random encounters with your characters in a location are kind of less random, and they're based on where you are in the story. And it's just kind of hard. Anyway, well, let's go talk to Joe. You get paid, you're gonna get your money. Alright, we got the golden grown eye to or grown eye to Joe. So let's get out of here. Let's get out of Go back to Kravia and go to the guild. This is pretty much everything guild related. Like this is I think you actually get something for completing enough guild missions. There we go, thirty grand. Thank you for completing the quest. If we ever get another good quest in on it, we'll let you have it. Okay, so the more quests you do, the more you'll find, or the more that get unlocked. Now, I don't know about... This quest from Crown Lonatello. He says that his daughter Cammy is missing. She disappeared from the Three Star Hotel in Derrickham when they were staying. Hopefully you'll be able to track her from there. The reward money is 80 grand. Let's accept the quest. You should probably start off by going to the hotel and talking to Count Lonatello. Good luck and thank you. Okay, yeah, yeah. I'll go talk to Lonatello. Now, another thing about guild missions, it actually unlocks a secret boss if you do all of them, I believe. Or most of them. And that secret boss is not easy. Alright, let's 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 heal actually really quick, because this, uh... We're getting a dangerous territory here. Okay. Uh, we're getting into dangerous territory here, because uh, we are very low leveled in comparison to some of these monsters. So, Count Lonatello, we already know that this... Here it is. My daughter was staying in this room, but reception swears she never left the hotel. Okay. Well, we know she's in the sewers. But where at in the sewers? Oh goodness. We are we're gonna be here for a minute, huh? <laughs> oh I never got that item. Or that item, what the hell? Let's go grab that. Cause I, I'm feeling not spicy, but what is what is the word I'm looking for? Uh we will do this. I feel the need. Leaf of Defiance? Holy! That's actually really good! Okay, I believe what we're going is... over here? No, not here. Gosh dang it, it's so hard to figure out where we're going. Okay, well... <laughs> I just don't know! It's been so long since I was in those fucking sewers that I don't remember. Maybe let's go up here onto this on this bridge. Maybe this will help us. Cause who knows? Who knows? Okay, what is what are these two items? Strongman, weak walls, ice needle scroll. Okay, that's pretty much useless. Uh, is it down and over here? Oh, it is. Oh god. Oh dear, look at all these skeletons. I'm completely surrounded. The evil skeletons are closing in on our heroine. Well, we come with a beautiful cami. This is like a bad play. Stick around for act two, assuming I make it out of here. Since I'm already in character, let's try a cute girlish scream. Goodness, I can do better than that. <laughs> I love how they instantly turn around. Okay, oh, we get ambushed. Oh, that's great. That's fantastic. I love being ambushed. Because these guys hit like trucks. 
It's not over yet. Oh, God. That's Spellbind, isn't it? Ugh. Fuck. Not Spellbind. That means you can't use arts. Oh, okay. I can maybe do this. Shit. 600! I only missed three! Okay. We're gonna Flaming Fist, because that'll be easiest. And then you are going to... Uh, actually, I'm gonna have you variable art. On uh, this. And then I'm gonna have you variable art. Except I'm realizing... I don't know what your... Uh... <laughs> Okay, so what did I just use on Ain? It was Soaring Axe, right? Yeah, Soaring Axe. And then I'm going to have you open. So Pyro Fury. So right, left, left, up, down, right. Yep, let's see. These things, by the way, have uh, 32,000 HP. So they're not, they're not easy to kill. See, like, we only did a 10% HP on the, all three of them. Oh, Maya might die before we get to use her. Oh, she's confused. That's phenomenal. We love that. Kit. <laughs> well, at least we're getting a little bit of damage out. Okay. Not bad on the damage. Okay, I will do better this time. I did the exact same. <laughs> I'm really, really bad at this. Can't use NP moves. That is fine by me. Okay. Lang, I'm going to have you... Honestly, I'm just going to have you use Final Flash. You, uh, Firestorm into Raging Warrior and finish off with Disaster Master. I don't know why I didn't have you use Gospel. Actually, I'm dumb. Why didn't I have you use Gospel? God, I love Final Flash. I love how many references to Dragon Ball Z it, there are in this game. You know, Final Flash. Uh, the fucking... Oh wow, that did basically the exact same amount of damage. Okay. We won't worry about using that then. Hit Lang, that's fine. Nice! Oh, thank god you got Gospel. Thought you were gonna die before you got it off. Okay, are there really only 14 missions? Huh. I guess there really are only 14 missions in uh, the quest guild. Or in the guilds. <laughs> Okay. Well, now that we're stronger, Ain should hopefully not. God damn it. Hate? Hate Force! Let's go. We love Hate Force. Oh, get owned, idiot. Absolute moron. Just getting fucking whacked. Okay, you're spellbound, right? I think you are, but we'll just do this. Uh, oh god. Uh, let's use a Panacea, and then let's see if we can get a life blessing off. I don't think so. Oh, let's go! 
Dude, imagine life blessing is like a priority move. That'd be crazy. Be absolutely wild. Okay. Maya should be able to take at least one more hit. And then we're gonna have Lang just deal a good amount of damage. Wait, did that thing die? Are we down to two? Hate Force! Oh my god, I love this. God, it's just so easy. Okay, the other guy took like 10k. Alright, that's good. Uh, no, we don't need another Panacea. I need a Firestorm into Shock Force into Full Impact into Shock Force. No, I had that set up the way I wanted it, and we're going to Life Blessing again and begin. I want to point out that the levels of these enemies are uh, 71. Hit Lang, please. Lang, 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 Oh, you have Anti-Spellbind. Nice. But you don't have Anti-Confuse? Come on! That's fine. That's fine. Uh. Okay. Hyper Art. This honestly might kill it. I don't know though. Because Ain has a lot of power. And if, if Lang wasn't spellbound, be able to kill this guy instantly. Oh, we are down the last guy. Nice. Uh, there we go. Just do some damage. Oh, we got a super art off? Hell yeah. I don't think it's going to do much since it's a dark type enemy, but... Or a dark attribute. Okay, 4k HP. And then Lang just hits so much damage. Close call. Close call. Yeah, we did it. Look at that. GG easy. I think there are still some left. There sure are some left. And we are going to open up. So these guys are pretty annoying. But we're going to kill one of them instantly. Alright, I'm going to solid strike. And then you are going to 1-2, one, 1-2, two, one, two, up, down, or down, up. Okay. And then you are going to do gospel. Oh, that's huge that you get to go first. You go first, and now we're going to be able to outspeed them. Or not outspeed them, but deal probably enough damage to kill at least one of them. And uh, I'm going to see... If Maya still has 100 AP, or MP, because if Maya still has 100 MP, then I might see if I can try and pull off her Mystic Art. Because she should be able to live a couple of turns off of Gospel. But we'll see. Variable Art. Okay, that thing is dead. All right is right. Uh, hit Lang with it, please. Or Aang, that's fine. Just not Maya. Perfect. God, it's just so easy. 16k damage. All right. Let's get Raging Fang into Rabbit Attack. We're not going to be able to deal the uh, Rabbit Attack damage, unfortunately, but that's okay. Firestorm. You can do Firestorm, which is great. 
okay, I actually need to build up your AP. I also love that the music is just the, uh, the boss fight music with Elfin. I don't know why, but it's just a very fun tune. Okay, I need... I need them to hit Maya. At the very least. Not like with a branded curse or anything. But just hit her. Oh, that one's dead? Oh, we got another hate force. Oh, I... Press, I double pressed X on accident. God damn it. Uh, oh right, Ain is spellbound, I forgot. But he still did 10k damage, good lord. Alright, I'm gonna guard. Guard. Nah, we're just not gonna worry about it. No, just attack. Might as well just kill it and get it done with. Oh my god, I'm so... This this episode has been... I've been recording this episode, by the way, for an hour and 15 minutes. And at least 10 of these minutes have been in this fight alone. Or these two fights. Uh, let's see what's going to happen here. Okay. 5,800 is not a whole lot. Okay. Please. I did way worse that time. Oh, nope. I did the exact same as I always do. Never mind. We got him! Never again. So true, man. Let's get a good amount of experience out of it. And a good amount of money. Alas, death took this fair maiden before she blossomed into perfection. Not quite what I wanted on my headstone, but... Cammy? How'd you know my name? That's easy to explain. We were... Sent here to help you. Hired by the guild. Your sight for sore eyes. I could just kiss you. It's just an expression, of course. I'm not really going to kiss you. Can't wait to get home and take a bath. I must reek of the sewers. You don't mind if I leave for you, right? Thanks. Bro, I need to take you home. Oh, that's fine. All we got to do now is just run all the way back. Over this way. And get out of the sewers. Yeah, once you leave the sewers, it should be fair game. You should be good to go. Also, I want everyone to know that in the form of shorts, I will be showing off everyone's mystic art at some point. Uh, whether that... I'm also going to be trying to show it off in... You know, in-game, but there is going to be a separate short that shows the uh, the whole thing. But I have Central Continental Union to give to see to this. Ever so grateful. You're that guild member from before, aren't you? Hehe, <laughs> thanks. But yeah, I'm going to be trying to show off every mystic art that is available because they're, frankly, they're really cool. And also, Lang's mystic art is just straight up a fucking JoJo's reference. So, because, <laughs> I mean, he has Gallia punching the enemy behind him going, ora, 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 ora. I don't know. Maybe that's a, maybe that's not quite the vibe they were going for, but that's the vibe I got. Okay. Let's talk to the guild. Here you go, 80 gay. 80 gay? Wow, 80k. We got a lion heart. The lion heart is actually Sharon equipment, and it's pretty good. It's better than the hard breastplate we currently have, and it's got AP cost down one, which is real good. IMO, but anyway. Anyway, I think that's going to do it for today's episode. In the next episode, we are going to go 
to uh, Ellsworth. And in between episodes, I'm actually going to be doing the secret market uh, exploit so we can get infinite money. So once again, thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of Let's Play the Guy 2 Duel Saga. In the next one, we will for real go to Ellsworth. Goodbye.